Hi and welcome. So this video is more like an explorative video where I'm going to talk about what kind of devices there are out there that can do Wi-Fi hacking. Wi-Fi hacking has been here for a long time. Most people have been using the good old Alpha card. You can buy it on Amazon, eBay used, anywhere really. And then you can use your own PC. The only real need there is, is for the actual network adapter to go into promiscuous mode, also called monitor mode. Now, if that is actually possible, you can go ahead and crack try and brute force different kind of Wi-Fi networks. We're waiting for the one and only MasterTech M1 multi-tool that can perform the same kind of tasks as the Flipper Zero. Now, when we are talking about the Flipper Zero as a handheld unit, I have one right here, actually. You know, um, it can do many different kinds of things using pre-built custom-made antennas where you can you know install custom-made firmware like no water and there's also some other kind of swing offs from that they could do more or less the same thing you can also take my water as the actual firmware and put it down to smaller iot based units and some of those i'm also going to talk about in this video First of all, let's get down to the basics. Now, the basics of Wi-Fi attacking is by knowing your tool. If you want to make a tool yourself and you make sure that you understand what's going on, I definitely go ahead and recommend you to check out Aircrack NG. It is the tool for Wi-Fi hacking, for Wi-Fi cracking. It is the one you need to learn to understand in order to perform these kind of tasks. Now, please remember that, you know, performing Wi-Fi attacks is actually illegal. So you should not do things like that. What you should definitely do is go to the company and say, well, listen, I want to perform some pen test. And here's a variety of different ways that we can do it. I can do a small device, IoT devices with Marauder. I can walk around with the Flipper Zero. You know, we can hire someone to do it and see if people is like aware of this small find a device like a Flipper Zero or any other small device that will try and interact and cheat people. More of, we're also going to go ahead and talk about the evil portal. Because the evil portal is actually a piece of software that will emulate a actual Wi-Fi network. Someone or the client or the one you want to call the victim should connect to, right? And that is um, something all these small devices can also do. There are more than I'm just going to present in this video. We also have the Wi-Fi watches, different kind of versions of watches doing the same thing. You can buy some spin-offs from Elite Press. You can buy the Wi-Fi um, um, watch you can get online and so on, you know, different kind of versions of it. So I want to start talking about, you know, we have the Flipper Zero, you can of course extend that. We all know it and you can go to shop, for example. And on your shop, you can go ahead and buy the Wi-Fi development board for Flipper Zero. And basically that's the way to go, then you're good to go. But there are many other good alternatives. So you're going to go ahead and check out a guy called Just Call Me Coco. You can go ahead and check out and buy the BFFB, a big board for uh, the Flipper Zero contains all different kind of weird funky antennas. You can also buy the small, you know, Marora pen testing, specially made, you know, it's um, a clickable screen. You can look at the, the Marora Mini, you can buy the Wi Fi um, development board for Pure Zero, you can buy other kind of antennas and so on. So, this is the guy you're going to go ahead and check out. You know, one that I usually recommend whenever you're going to do something like I want try and do some stuff with this device how far can i get with just using an actual flipper zero but this is some of the things that we're going to talk about and i, I definitely think i actually own this marauder 6.1 i ordered it from his stock whenever he restart and it's quite interesting i think it's really funny i i have it more like um something to show off the people have it with the antenna on like this one here um it's an okay size actually you have in your hand 
And there's a, you can also take a pen and, and, and click the screen, but you can also use your finger, it doesn't really matter. So it's kind of a touch screen, but not like with motion graphics touch like that, but it is graphical and there is actually colors on the screen. I quite like the product. Um, the case is of course 3D printed and um, I think it's uh, working really well. I'm not really sure what else to say about it. It is pre-installed in the water. It works beautiful in different kind of things. Now, I'm also going to put pressure on the whole thing about, you know, Glee spam, because people talk about the Bluetooth spam of the era. We're going into right now that many things are relying on Bluetooth. There are not really any great hacks out there for Bluetooth, which is really good because this is not what, this is not what we want to see. We want to see Bluetooth as a friendly, good service to use also at our own home. Going a bit further, you can check out the M5 stack. The stack is something that is very interesting. These small microcontrollers you can buy and stack them together with like batteries and, you know, LAN cables or so on. So it's like you, you have the base and the top, which is holding the different kinds of things with the card, the microcontroller and so on. And then you can, you know, customize it. So if, imagine you're having one of these kind of funky stacks here and five stacks. You can then customize with different kind of firmware, even install the water on it. But it, it's not just about installing the water, it's about thinking beyond that because the water is just a piece of firmware that works exactly the same way as you can go ahead and check out, like I said, Aircrack NG again and do the same things there. The water is just something that is tailored in a certain way to act for you, but it's not really the best thing to know. If you want to be the best one, you're going to learn Aircrack, you're going to learn different kind of tools like set tools, social engineering tools, and so on. And you're going to learn to do some programming and how to host your web server and so on. But if you cannot do all these kind of things, you know, you need this click it bigly fun gadget that can do it for you. And this is why I talk about these kind of things in this video. So it's more like a an eye opener for what is possible out there. If you take one of these devices and imagine putting it together as a stack with, for example, a battery and then put it into the LAN, on a network, then suddenly you have something that could uh, intercept traffic and send it to another host, or you could try and, and, and decrypt traffic, look at traffic that is on the network that is not encrypted. You can even try and perform attacks, install stuff. So this could be like a really interesting device to have. Um, and they also show different kind of things you can use it for. It is actually a multi-tool. So go ahead and check it out. It's really interesting. And of course, all the things that I talk about, all the links and stuff like that, you just have to you know, do a description below and this is where you're going to find it. So you're going to have to ask for it in the, in the, in the comment. You can do that, but you know, it is in the description. So save yourself a little bit and just click description. But anyways, I also laugh if you're going to make a comment. So. Go ahead and check out the Raspberry Pis. You know, it's, it's a classic one, though. Getting the Raspberry Pi minis and the small ones to create small, interesting modular units. And I have some very interesting units here on my, my computer shelf. I have the the Beyond, like it's a small, um, it's a small auto pen testing device for network. I also have the the, the, the Polar Guard shooting which is another device, all built on the. Raspberry Pi, Pinko, I think it is. And and the one that is a big thicker than the other, the one very low, is the um is the Polar Guardian, which is actually powered by a battery from uh, Raspberry Pi Sugar, whatever it's called. And and really it's it's a beautiful thing. It really works wonders. So we are progressing to a really nice site called Attendee. Attendee is a site where you can go ahead and buy pre-made stuff. So is this, is this where you're going to say like, but I need my power guard. So you can go ahead and buy it for $180. Sometimes you even get it like a bit cheaper and $20 without the battery. And you can go ahead and buy different kind of tools, flipper zero and antennas and, you know, development boards and 3D printed stuff. So this is actually something that people do. It's a funny thing down here below. It's a, it's, it's a hexapod that loops make a kid. Very interesting. So you can also buy the, the D-Strike, the author watch right here, for example, and you can buy the Super Suit Black Omnix board. And you can just click it by the way. I'm just going to click one here and say, 
Um, it's an innovative expansion board from zero to by detail that promises to elevate your device capabilities to a new level. This board consists of three distinct modules, each designed to maximize form quality and versatility, versatility of the device. And you can read more about it. Of course, also a video, which is really nice. So I want to say that, you know, this is also a great thing about Tinder. You can go ahead and buy devices, which is, you know, very, very nice. Um, also, a great contender here is called the Hack5. You can buy the Wi-Fi Pineapple, which is really great. You know, Wi-Fi Pineapples are extremely nice. I have one, but really something that has been making a lot of videos about. Of course, it's been used at my work for different kinds of things and projects, but I, I definitely do plan to use it. But I just think there's so many different kind of Wi-Fi things and gadgets flooding the market. We can all do the same thing. So people's interest is more focused on the small handheld gadget that makes you feel like a hacker. I understand that, um, but this is actually the, the gold, right? The best thing. From this, I think I kind of covered it all in this video. The things that I mentioned are especially worth looking at. I'm not saying that there's nothing more different kind of things. They're all just T-pad, Lady Go and so on. More more different kind of units, you know, but but you can, we can keep mentioning the same things, but we can all do the same thing. So the question you should ask is, what is it the task at hand you have? If that task is actually to um, perform for Wi-Fi and pen testing, I definitely say go ahead and check out Aircrack NG. It is the best piece of software for any kind of hacking that is actually Wi-Fi based. Anyways, I want to say thank you for watching the video. If you got your horizontal knowledge sphere bigger by watching this video, you know, I really want to appreciate a thumbs up for the video. You know, um, Maybe even comment below and say, hey man, you, your hair is great, you know, <laughs> anything that <laughs> would make my day. Also consider subscribing, of course, I really know that 90 or 80 percent of you watching are not subscribers, so that's great, the reach is there, but we need more subscribers to reach the goal of 100,000 subscribers, which is within my grasp in, in some years, from what I understand, that is what I'm trying to aim for. So. It's just a big goal I have. I really hope it's going to be um, a possible one for me to, to see. And I want to say thank you one more time. So have a really nice day and see you again online.